But the smoke doesn't just affect people. It's also dangerous for your pets. Devin Haskins is live in Northwest Portland this afternoon with a little bit more on that. So Devin, should, uh, what should I should say, what should pet owners look for? Is it always obvious? It depends on your pet. Veterinarians say um, that if you just watch them, you should be able to see if things are being difficult for them. They do breed the same there that we do. And veterinarians say that some of the breeds like pugs or bulldogs, you know, the smush face breeds, it's actually worse for them because of their breathing problems in normal air. Veterinarians say that pets with chronic lung problems are the most susceptible to the poor air quality and should be closely watched when the air is this bad. You know, things to look out for, difficulty breathing, coughing, sneezing, vomiting, or loss of appetite. If you're a cat owner, if a cat breathes with his mouth, mouth open, also to look out for that. Uh, you know, all, all dogs need to go outside to do their business. Veterinarians say, though, to limit those outdoor activities to just a few minutes. Make sure they have access to plenty of water, run uh, air conditioners with clean filters, um, run an air purifier if possible, um, and uh, just make sure to monitor for symptoms. Uh, if you notice any respiratory symptoms, either have them checked by a veterinarian or give us a call. Pets should also avoid the Ross Island Lagoon because of the blue-green algae warning that was uh, spotted there in the water. That algae can be toxic or even deadly to pets that ingest it. The air quality is actually much worse in uh, southern Oregon, you know, closer where the fires are. Down in Medford, it's actually at a very unhealthy level.